So in this week's clip we'll be looking at the transition from here to here and then the knee from here and yonder as we kind of close off this sequence that we're looking at from, from that kata. And the application that you normally hear isn't so wild as to be unbelievable. Something's gone on with this and then the big bad guy is there and we reach for his head and then we're going to have to pull that down and near him in the head. But what you saw there was that for this to work on Amius, he had to back off because it wouldn't. So if I reach for his head and just bring my knee up, that doesn't end up striking him in the head. It ends up catching him somewhere else. If I want to knee him in the head, I've got to do something else. So the first thing we've got to do is look at the kind of situation that we might really have. We could be in the middle of a scrap or it could be the big white hook. Something's going on, but as that goes on, I'm going to make a grab to the outside. Now, ducking is not my favourite thing in the world to do because I'm quite tall, but if I go ducking under here, I'm likely to meet another hand coming in, and that's a bit of a problem. So the way that we manoeuvre to the outside is by guiding this guy so that we're behind. Now, from here, taking the head and bringing it back like this, that gives me that shot, just as we'd like it really, because I'm stuck on the the wall. So we're here like this, that goes there, and then we're here like this. Because the body's malleable in this direction, much less so from pulling him in here. He's likely to just fall this way. So we're going to use that, we're going to use that knowledge of pulling the head back and making the pelvis move forwards to create that technique as you kind of expect it to be used, um, just from a different angle.